is it still possible to become rich if you invest in crypto the answer is yes but you need to look for rising projects in the nft space splinterlands is one of these rising nft projects it is basically a collectible cards game where users battle between each other using these collectible cards game I have already made a video about the gameplay of Splinterlands. If you want to learn more about the game, you should check out this video up here. Anyway, Splinterlands has two major tradable NFT tokens. You have cards and lands. Lands is a future extension of the game, which is not released yet. It is supposed to be released by the end of this year, 2021 and collectors are massively buying these nfts let me just show you what i mean by massively buying if i click here on details by the way this is atomic hub this is an nft marketplace built on wax and lands are available here and also on hiveengine.com so here you can see the number of sales per day look at this 32 sales 58 13 21 52 38 25 18 75 30 and today 33 lands were sold let me just show you how much money i have made so far with a small tiny budget so I have invested $359. I have purchased 27 plot, plot of land, land it's the same thing. It's a claimable token. The extension is not released yet and the price is rising. That's crazy. 27 lands for $11. Then I have purchased two plots for 20 bucks and another one at $18. So if I decide to sell everything, I will make, this is the selling price, the actual selling price per unit on wax. Look at this. Let me just show you. 74.46. Lands are traded at $74. So I have put this price. I even created this chart on uh, Excel so I can see how this thing is going up look at this bullish move anyway i have invested 359 dollars and if i sell everything i will make a thousand and eight hundred and sixty seven dollars that's crazy right but i'm not gonna sell right now because this is just the beginning the extension is not released yet when the extension will be released owners of lands will mint nft cards in other words, if you own a piece of land on Splinterlands, you will create other collectible cards which can be bought and sold on Splinterlands, like those cards over here. Thus, owners of lands will technically generate a passive income. In addition to that, if we, let me just show you, if we compare, this is another uh, NFT project called the sandbox if you are familiar with this project it is a well-known project and if we compare the price here and there lands on sprinter lands are still cheap and undervalued so this is the top sales for seven days look at this piece of land Two hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars, one hundred and sixty-three thousand dollars. Man, that's crazy. Eighty-eight thousand dollars, fifty-one thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars. This is really huge. If you scroll down a little bit, look at the prices: a thousand dollars, two thousand and two hundred, eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars. And these are all sales, meaning that collectors are taking profit. So the, the cheapest piece of land, look at this dot, this is the land, this is a small unit for $800, $900. Here, I believe that this thing is still way undervalued compared to the sandbox. If you want me to make a separate video on how to purchase lands on Wax or on Hive Engine, comment below and I will take care of it. On Hive Engine, you can get them at a 
cheaper price look, look at this 53 dollars on the bit side anyway let's talk about the cards if you go here on splinterland click on market basically here you can see the price four thousand three thousand nine hundred dollars everything is taken off these are legendary cards and if you click here on the gold version you have the same legendary cards but some of them are made in regular manner and the others are gold as you can see and because they are more scarce they cost more money look at this $250,000 $100,000 man $50,000 $10,000 I mean you get the idea this thing is really taken off I'm gonna put the link to Splinterlands in the description below if you register through my link you will receive a card as a bonus as a gift and you may receive a gold card this is not sure 100% but you can get lucky and receive one of these legendary gold cards who knows let's take a look at my collection of cards so i have two different strategies i have a trading strategy and a buy and hold strategy so this is my first collection of cards i have probably let me see 69 cards total investment 116 dollars if i sell everything i will make a thousand dollars and here this is another collection of cards but these are for trades let me just show you this is my results of this month this is all of the trade of this month and as you can see i have made 328 dollars profit you can go here on splinterlands and you can check my trades they're available on the blockchain this morning i have sold this card you can check them here click on monster market or go to monstermarket.io and tools market history i believe yes and you type in my username btc sprout which is my splinterlands username youtube username my username and click on search you can check all of my trades look at this this morning i have sold this card for 184 dollars and if you go here i have purchased this card for i believe 84 dollars let's see purchase 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 yes here look at this 84 dollars sold for 184 dollars <laughs> that's crazy and that's not it this is all of my trades this one was sold for 279 dollars this one was sold for 139 dollars i mean you get the idea this is all of my trades 178 dollars and i made this month the month is not over yet uh 328 dollars profit pure profit and i have in my inventory the these cards are for sale i have one two three cards as you can see i have purchased this one for 199 119 200 dollars let me show you i am putting them on sell here for sell new no. this is not here sorry guys for sale let's click on gold so i, I am selling this one for 700 dollars as you can see this is me btc sprout i am making money and i am working 10 to 20 minutes uh, early in the morning that's what i do and let me just show you this one is for at sell for 458 dollars i have purchased this card for 119 
you can check all of my trades on monstermarket.io you can if you are interested in trading nfts you can subscribe to my email list link in the description below and register here with your email and i will send you a free nft trading course when it will be released i am still working on that it's gonna take me a little bit of time but you can register join the waitlist by clicking here put your email join the waitlist and i will send you uh, the free course when it will be released the second strategy is more simple so here basically i have a bunch of cards which uh, i am playing with and that's it i'm just holding those cards a cards under ten dollars a legendary cards under ten dollars i just buy it that's it that's what i'm doing look at this i have opened the pack purchased the pack for 1.75 dollars and when i had opened the pack i had this card let me just show you uh, market legendary no now this card cost 197 dollars that's crazy cost of that card 1.75 dollars and here let me just see another card this one i have purchased this card for five dollars you can see here five dollars 4.99 look at this look at this craziness 149 dollars this is my order at 249 i don't know if i can sell this card at this price i don't care anymore i am way in profit if it is sold it is sold if it is not this card 36 dollars let me just show you uh, 2.3 dollars craziness this card 1.5 dollars fire where's the fire 15 dollars uh you get the idea everything is taken off this one is for 16 dollars i have purchased this card for 5.3 dollars this one i have purchased this one for five dollars let me just show you five dollars man 45 dollars <laughs> i'm sorry guys i i wasn't expecting when i started playing this game i didn't expect uh, all of these huge price i was just playing the game i put a hundred dollars to have some fun and if you just play the game you will earn money look at this this month this is dec dec is a cryptocurrency built on splinter lands this is my dec balance this is roughly 200 dollars and dec is used to buy and sell these nfts when you play the game if you have watched my previous video you can see uh, how to play the game and stuff like that and if you go here on battles and you just battle with other players as you can see here this is me this is my opponent and i have won the, this battle because it is green when it is red you lose anyway i have made 35 dec per battle so this month i have made 35 dollars just by playing the game profit this is pure profit guys pure profit so you can trade you can buy and hold you can rent cards let me just show you i am renting a bunch of cards this one is for rent is on rent This one is on sale. This one is on rent. You can make money if you just rent cards. If you go here on your click on your username, click on balance history. And as you can see, rental market payments. You're gonna receive money because you can, <laughs> you can rent your cards. 
I can't believe what's going on guys. So anyway, you can make, you throw money here, you get your money back. Of course, this is not a financial advice. Do your own research and stuff like that. But you need to consider for a second that this is a great opportunity. Look at this card. $70. This is, uh, it is on rent right now. I'm renting it. So I have purchased this card, legendary water, $17. Even Bitcoin didn't make me that much money. That's not it. The cryptocurrency, DEC, let me just show you. Even dark energy crystal is taking off. If you just buy and hold DEC, this thing has taken 4X in one, one, two, three, four days four days when the crypto market is crashing down i am still trading but you know trading in the in a bear market is difficult you need to spot the bottom and then you need to sell at the moving averages or an obvious resistance you can still make money but it's difficult to trade in a bear market especially if you don't have experience trading I've been trading for almost five years and the opportunity is there. It's in NFTs, projects like Splinterlands and uh, there is something else. Uh, the Splinterlands team has made a new announcement. Basically, they are creating a new cryptocurrency which is called SPS. So the SPS token will be given away for free for holders of those nfts the airdrop will start on monday and it's gonna be every day they're gonna airdrop some coins and based on your holdings dec holdings card holdings lands if you hold these items you will receive free money they have made a way to print money so this is this is cool i mean look at this if you hold uh, the dec token you got one point if you have dec in liquidity pools i don't know what this is if you stake uh, on uh, uniswap or things like that i don't do this stuff i'm just trading i don't care you have two points if you have an untamed booster pack you have 600 points uh, these packs are available here on Hive Engine. They also are available on Wax. I believe I have two packs here. Yes, I have two packs. Basically, when you open a pack, you get uh, five cards and you may have a legendary card as well. It's random. This is not sure. But anyway, if you have a dice booster pack, it's 900 point or booster pack 2400 beta booster pack 2400 points uh, basically they will airdrop every day so here nearly every sprinter lens assets will be eligible to earn sps token in the airdrop each type of assets will be assigned a specific amount of airdrop points that is worth then the total number of airdrop points will be added up across all assets in all accounts in the game and held externally once each day if you just hold cards dec dark energy crystals packs lands where's my lands 30 claim you will earn this new token this is a governance token they're just printing money out of thin air and you should take advantage of this huge opportunity SPS tokens will be airdropped to assets holders on a daily basis over one year period. So this is good. So every day they're going to take a snapshot of your account. They're going to see which card you have, which DEC, how much DEC you have, how much lands you have. And they're going to send you the equivalent amount of SPS and this is a proof of stake coin meaning that you can stake so I'm going to cover uh, this airdrop probably each week stay tuned subscribe to my email list I will send you the free course when it will be ready you should definitely because I have a system that's why I am making uh, money 
this is not a system at all this is buy and hold strategy but here I have a system which works pretty well as I told you you can check my trade monstermarket.io type in BTC Sprout and these are all my trades for that year I mean I, I made a lot of money trading NFTs that's it for today subscribe hit that bell smash that like button and take profit peace